QuantumScape recently announced that we've started shipping Alpha 2, a six layer prototype to automotive customers. Why is that significant? It comes down to two things, features and rapid feedback. First, the Alpha 2 release rolls in most of the key features of our first land commercial product. Higher loading cathodes, these are among the highest in the industry, our proprietary flex frame cell design, and slimmer, more efficient packaging. Second, shipping to customers helps us get feedback on important performance metrics so we can refine our design and manufacturing process for the next iteration. B0 is the first draft of our planned commercial product, QSE5. It targets energy density over 800 watt hours per liter with 15 minute fast charging and 10C discharge rate capability. Alpha 2 is a big step toward that goal, which is why we're excited to get them in the hands of our customers as fast as we can. Energy density is often highlighted when talking about EV batteries. We get it. People want more range and car makers want more flexibility to develop vehicles with less space used by the battery pack. It's important, but it's not the only thing that matters for EVs. Drivers don't just want range, they also want power. Whether you're merging onto the highway or putting your foot down on the track, a high performance vehicle also needs batteries with high power density. So what is power density? It's pretty simple. How much power can you get out of a battery of a given size? We measure this in watts per liter, and the higher the number, the better the performance. Conventional lithium ion batteries that you find in a typical long range EV can deliver between about two and 3,000 watts per liter. We're specking our first product, QSE5, at over 5,000 watts per liter. That could give you over a thousand horsepower. And when you combine that type of power with an energy density above 800 watt hours per liter, we believe it's an unmatched combination of energy and power. One aspect of solid state battery performance that's often not discussed is applied pressure. Why? In solid state cells, the layers can lose contact with each other during charging and discharging. To ensure that all the battery parts stay connected, some technologies apply large amounts of pressure. For example, many other solid state batteries require pressures well in excess of five atmospheres to function. That's like applying more than 10,000 pounds per square foot. Forces at that level can be tested in a lab, but in a car, it's not practical. QuantumScape's battery is different. QSE5 is spec to operate with less than one atmosphere of applied pressure, which we've already demonstrated in our Alpha 2 prototype cells. This level of pressure is similar to what's being used in today's EV battery packs, simplifying integration into vehicles. Fast charging is one of the most critical performance features for next generation batteries. In 2022, we released test data for our single layer cells charging from 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. Last year, we put out data from our two layer Alpha 1 cells demonstrating the same performance. And recently, we showed our six layer Alpha 2 prototypes charging just as fast. That's a big deal because Alpha 2 incorporates our highest loading cathode in a more efficient package. For context, 15 minutes is close to half the amount of time that it takes today's top selling long range EVs to charge. This time savings is significant for a couple reasons. First, it gives us confidence that our QSC5 cell is on track to deliver both high energy and high power. But second, it provides a path to reducing range anxiety for the consumer, giving automakers the flexibility to design vehicles with varying battery pack sizes, potentially accelerating the adoption of EVs.